Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. I have been to the post office twice today, once in the rain, but I was happy to do it because I am so excited for what I'm about to show you. Mary's Diamonds is reopening on May 20th. They have 10 new kits that you can get in either round or square. And Nicole asked me and Jamie asked me and I was so honored to be able to do one of the sneak peeks for Mary's Diamonds. I am one of, uh, I don't know how many sneak peekers, but uh, I have one of the designs that's coming out on May 20th and I'm excited to show you. So let's head into the painter's place and I'll show you what I got. And I also have the top 10 things you need to know about Mary's Diamonds. All right, let's head in there. See you in there. And we are back in the painter's place. I have my package that I'm so excited I got today. Um, I wanna thank Jamie and Nicole um, of Bell Art Day, Nicole and Mary's Diamonds for asking me to do this and for sending this out to me to share with you. Um, I did take a look at it because I wanted to make some notes on it, but I do have the top 10 things that you need to know about Mary's Diamonds and everything that they have done to upgrade and improve and they have been working really really hard uh, to get all these kits exactly the way that they want them for us to have a great diamond painting experience um, I'm showing you the outer box because I want you to know exactly how these kits are, are gonna come to you um, I'm gonna you know review this and uh, tell you everything that I see um, and I'm excited to get into this so let me stop yammering on all right so it does come in this outer box and then when you open it up, oh, she wrote me a card. Look at this beautiful box. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the outer box, but this inner box is half turquoise, half pink. I love this with the Mary's Diamonds logo on it. Uh, it does have Mary's Diamonds social media information. I will link uh, this social media information down in the description of this video. Um, on the back, uh, it has your four steps to uh, diamond painting, uh, and it is in cellophane. So let me find my melee machete. All right, so the top 10 things to know about Mary's Diamonds. Oh, well, let me show you something first before I get into that. They do, on the bottom of the box, they do have a thumbnail with the title and the artist of the image that you are going to see uh, in the box and I love that they've already stuck this on here so that if you're storing your boxes and stacking them you can see it I got it's really small Poseidon yes the Greek god one of the uh, 12 original Olympians uh, I will tell you a little bit about Poseidon as we get into this a little bit because I love Greek mythology and uh, I did a report on Athena when I was in elementary school and I've loved Greek mythology ever since. But it does come with a plastic outer wrap. So let me get this cut off. And while I'm doing that, so the first thing you need to know about Mary's Diamonds. Number one, hand rendered artwork. All of our kits. All of their kits have been hand rendered to be sure the detail matches the artwork. Remember, for those of you that may be newer or maybe don't know, don't know this, rendering, when someone says it's a great rendering of a painting, it means that the diamond painting, the, the canvas of the diamond painting closely matches or matches exactly the original artwork. So they do hand render, meaning a computer doesn't do it for them. They hand render their images, which is, that's top of the line. That's the Cadillac of rendering. That's what you want because it means somebody's eyes have been on it and anything that may be objectionable has been fixed. So it says they've worked tirelessly with our designer to make sure we respect the artists and their work with the colors available in the diamond painting. So let's get into this box and see what we got. Oh, I'm so excited to be one of the first people to get to see these. When I found out that Nicole and Jamie uh, had purchased Mary's Diamonds and were starting it, I contacted Nicole immediately and said, oh, I want to get a canvas. When do you open? When do you open? And at that point, they didn't know. And it's finally happening. All right, let me grab this card really quick. So much to see. So much to see. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. All right. Let's 
does the card say? Ooh. Just wanted to say thank you for being a part of our sneak peek team and for sharing your thoughts and feedback with us. Your support means everything, and we're excited to continue growing the diamond painting community together. Sincerely, Bella Art and Mary's Diamonds team. So now they're going to be Bella Art and Mary's Diamonds. So yes, double your pleasure, double your fun. All right, so besides the hand-rendered artwork, the second of the top 10 things you need to know, they have chosen a size of diamond painting that renders artwork best in both round or square kits. You will be able to pick either round or square drills, whatever you prefer, because we all like choices, right? Yes. Um, so the, the, they've rendered it in the size that they feel like is the best, most appropriate. You can always get either round or square drills. Your kit, you choose. Um, another thing, uh, it is poured glue, so I can roll the image back. I have not seen this image. I'm excited. Love Greek mythology. And again, this is Poseidon. I will tell you a little bit about Poseidon as I'm rolling this back. Okay, this canvas, um, the back of it is a very felty feeling canvas. Do not worry about the wrinkles that uh, with poured glue. That does not matter. That's just how it's rolled. It will flatten out beautifully. I know it does have a clear plastic cover, which tells you it is poured glue. If you have a white cover, don't do this. I just don't even deal with anything but poured glue anymore because it is the best. All right, so Poseidon, one of the 12 Olympians in ancient Greek religion and mythology presiding over the sea, storms, earthquake, and horses. Poseidon became lord of the sea when, following the overthrow of his father Cronus, the world was divided by lot among Poseidon, Zeus, and Hades. Poseidon was given the sea, um, Zeus was given the sky, and Hades was given the underworld. Those three were brothers, if you didn't know that. Just all kinds of fun, interesting facts here, right? Um, Poseidon resides at Mount Olympus or the sea. His symbols are the trident, which we're going to see in this image, fish, dolphin, horse, and bull. And his parents were Cronus and Rhea. And that is enough about Poseidon. Let's see him now. Ooh, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. If you are a Greek mythology fan, this one is for you. I have not. Um, this is uh, licensed from Effervescence. That's another thing. Mary's Diamonds legally licenses all of their artists, meaning the artists have given permission for their art to be used and the artists are being compensated for their work. Um, I don't um, affiliate with companies that um, have stolen artwork, what have you. I just don't. Uh, it's just a thing with me. I don't get too preachy about it, but it's important to me that these artists get compensated. So this is licensed from Effervescence. Let's, oh my gosh, he's got his trident. He's holding it behind his head. He's looking like a Mr. Tough Guy. You can see some abs down here. He's been working out. <laughs> Look at these green eyes. The eyes are killing me. I love it. You've got the bubbles coming up from the water because he resides in the water. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at this canvas really quick. Oh, this is going to be so pretty to do. I love it. All right, so let me take you on a little bit of a tour of the canvas and we'll talk about some more top 10 things to know about Mary's Diamonds. Number three, scalloped edges on your canvas. The canvases are scalloped and surged edge, edges, which prevent fray, uh, fraying and help it to lay flat and prevent wrinkling during shipping. Um, again, it also reduces lint and gunk from getting stuck on the glue. They do have high quality glue on this canvas. Let me pull back this plastic. This, I love this type of plastic covering on the canvas. It's nice and thick. You're not going to rip it easily. I'm impressed. I'm impressed so far. Very much so. Very, can I get my fingers off of it? Very sticky canvas. Wow. And that is another thing to know. High quality glue. Really sticky glue so you don't have sliding or popping drills, which is very nice. All right, Marlon, let's get them in very closely to this drill field. This drill field is crystal clear. They say you don't need a light pad. Just go ahead and diamond paint. And uh, I believe it because darker symbols on lighter colors 
uh, lighter symbols on darker colors. You can see in all this blue, there is a lot of dark background here, but you can see the symbols clear as day. Very nice. Nothing blurry. So far, I am extremely impressed. Okay, what else? Okay, we'll get into the drills in a second, but um, let me take you on a little bit of a tour of the canvas. We have got at the top uh, the Mary's Diamonds logo, filling the gap between art and craft. I love that. Um, it says share your love for Mary's Diamonds on social media using the hashtag Mary's Diamonds. So if you start doing this, which I'm going to start doing this, this is one that I'm going to do because um, I want to be one of the first people to complete a Mary's Diamonds kit. This will be great. And then in the top right corner, you've got um, how you can get uh, in touch with them or go to either website. So this is very nice. You've got the Mary's Diamonds website and you've got the Bella Art Day Nicole website, which is really great. Uh, then you've got two legends. Let me tell you about these legends. I think this is genius. You have two legends, top right, bottom left. Okay, we're used to seeing that. However, on the top right, I always do this when I start every diamond painting I do. I start at the bottom right and I kind of fan outward and get bigger and bigger. Well, when I get to a specific spot, I can't lean that far. So I flip my canvas upside down. They have flipped the legend in the top left to be upside down. So when you flip the canvas upside down, it is now, the legend is now right side up, which is great. Speaking of legends, let me look at this. The first column is going to tell you how many colors you're going to have in this one. This one is 40 colors. Uh, the middle column are going to be your symbols where you're going to match up your drills and uh, put them on your canvas. The third column is your DMC numbers. Mary's Diamonds does put their A, B drills at the bottom of their schematic or their legend. You have four A, Bs in this beautiful kit. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. I can't wait to see what they are and where they go. And I'm taking right now, I'm perusing the symbols. You've got numbers, one through eight. You've got letters, but they have omitted the letters that may be confusing. Um, if they're kind of if they're kind of similarly shaped letters, uh, they put them in different colors, which is always a plus. And then you do have some symbols. You have a star, lowercase a, plus sign. I mean, none of these are even, thank you, thank you. You only have one arrow and it's going up. One arrow, not 50, going 10 different directions. I love it. This is fantastic. Okay, let me flip Mr. Poseidon back over. All right. What else comes with your kit? You get a very nice tool kit, I can tell already. Primarily in this tool kit... Uh, Mary's Diamonds is going to pack these paintings individually because they do add some uh, features to your toolkit that no other company does. This is a Bella Art Day Nicole tray that they are going to put in every single kit, which is nice. I love their trays. I love the spacing between the ridges and the bottom. I always say this, Bella Art Day Nicole trays are the only trays so far that I have gotten square drills to line up perfectly in. Um, I love these trays and... Uh, I just cannot say enough about them. Their toolkit. What do you get in the toolkit? First of all, it does come in a very nice um, ecologically s s safe bag, I guess. Um, you can reuse the bag. It's very heavy, very nice. All right, so you get washi tape. I am certain that this washi tape is going to be random. So it, again, it's like a surprise. It's like a Cracker Jacks box. You never know what you're going to get. You do get a good bit of this washi tape. You use washi tape in case. It doesn't look like this glue has come out any further, but sometimes glue comes out farther than the pasting area on the painting. You can uh, put your washi tape around the perimeter uh, to keep gunk from getting on that glue. Or some people section off their canvases to make them a little bit less intimidating with the washi tape. You do get... It came apart a little bit in shipping, but that is okay. I've just put it right back together. This is a pot of wax, and it's blue wax, all right? For you blue wax fans, that's what they've got. You get three plates of it. That is way more than enough to complete your project. 
The wax does have plastic on the top and the bottom of it, so peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen. And I like this little container. It will keep your wax from drying out. You do get a pair of tweezers. They are pointy and stabby. Keep the sheath on. Do not poke your eyeball out or poke yourself like I almost did just then. <laughs> and you get a diamond painting pen. Um, you get three multi-placers. You get the single placer on one end and three multi-placers in case you want to place more than one drill down at a time. Um, I don't see numbers on these, but um, you get a wide variety. This looks like a two or three placer, I'm guessing here. This looks like about a six placer. This looks like about an eight or a 10 placer. So you have a wide variety of choices on your pen. You also get a squishy that is for diamond painting comfort. You slide this thing on the pen. I'm not gonna struggle with it. Sometimes you have to fight with it a little bit, but it goes on the pen and uh, it keeps your fingers from hurting in the diamond painting process. So that is the toolkit. Very nice, Bella Art Dana Cole. All right. It also says, Artists and art name always printed on our canvas so you can find them. We want them to know how much we love their artwork. So again, down at the bottom, I haven't shown you this. I was so jazzed about these schematics being right side up and upside down. I didn't show you the bottom. So here we go. This is where you're going to have your information. It does have the thumbnail of the image, the title, which is Poseidon. And this symbol right here, the C, lets you know it is licensed from... Um, I thought it was effervescence. It's effervescence, I believe. So um, it is a 50 by 60 centimeter. Um, I will let you know, I believe, is this a round kit? It, it, it is a round kit. But again, remember, you can pick. If you, if you love this and you want it in square, you can pick square. Um, again, there is, uh, there's the Bella Art Dana Cole logo, uh, where you can find diamond painting accessories. So they've got that there. So Mary's Diamonds is at the top, Bella Art Dana Cole's at the bottom. I love that they've got the combination. That's great. And then over here, once again, is their social media information. I wanted to call attention to that too. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. Okay. Already talked about the legend. Let's look at this sticker sheet. I love it, love it, love it. It is horizontal versus vertical. I love that. Uh, this entire sheet is a sticker. So if you look at that image and look at the, I mean, the rendering is beautiful of that image. I love the light shining off of him and the trident. Oh my gosh. Um, it does have the title. Uh, licensed from effervescence uh the mary's diamonds logo you've got all of their information down at the bottom 40 drill colors including four ab's uh, it does tell you on the inventory sheet or the sticker sheet that it is round drills and these stickers right here they are all pre-cut stickers i really like the fact that these pre-cut stickers they're larger and they're um the the printing at least is larger for my old eyes uh, and very easy to read. So you can just peel these off one by one and put them if you're going to kit up on your containers. I'm not going to kit up and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, there are also some uh, plain white uh, pre-cut labels. If you want to label anything else throughout your diamond painting process, you've got um, extra to do that with. I love this. Very clear. Um, this is great. I love this. Okay. So here's where we get into why I am not kidding up. I am not kidding up because these drills, they are resin drills. They're higher quality than before and more vibrant and shiny than before. But if you will notice, these are pre-bag drills. Yes, Mary's Diamonds. I love it. Perfect. I um. If you want to know what a Bella Art Day Nicole, I, I can't even put them in here right now because I'm already kitted up. So this is what I do. So um, these are uh, from another kit, but you can see I have these bags I have labeled with the stickers like I've showed you before. Um, these are divided. You can move these dividers. This is a Bella Art Day Nicole accessory. You can move these dividers and put these bags right in here. You can take your stickers, your pre-cut stickers. I take these, put them on the bags, put them in my Bella Art Day Nicole uh, container. If you didn't believe I used it, here you go. Here's proof. Um, and you're ready to go because I want to get to diamond painting faster. Okay. All right. So let's turn this gorgeous man over. And whoops, 
wouldn't be a care of video if I didn't knock some stuff on the floor. And I will show you these ABs. I'm going to lay these out. You're going to have a lot of darker colors in this kit, but the colors besides those are going to pop because of it. It is a dark uh, under the sea type uh, painting, so you, you know you're going to be dealing with some nature colors, some darker colors. Saving the ABs. I know where they are. I've seen them, so... I will save those to show you in a moment. I'm just going to lay these out so you can see the beautiful color palette. Da, da, da. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. <gasps> Two ABs snuck in there. Hang on. Hang on, ABs. I'll show you off in a second. Hope everyone is having a great start to their week. I know I am. I was so excited to get this kit and see it. I've been waiting. Do any of you remember the crazy Target lady in those Target Christmas commercials? That's what I felt like because I was like, open, 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 Mary's Diamonds, open. All right. Other two ABs that I'll show you in spotlight in a moment. Some pretty pinks. Okay, this is 939. Okay, this is another. So you're going to get a lot. The water that he is in looks dark, but because there are several colors, there's 336, 823, 310, and 939, you're going to get a lot of variation in that watercolor, which I think will be stunning. And it's funny because these colors look really, really close, but when you put them down on a canvas, you can see the difference, and it really adds dimension to the painting as a whole, so I'm excited about that. All right, guys, that is your color palette. Now let me show you your ABs. Like I said, you have four ABs. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills that captures facets of light and color from the drills around them and the environment and just makes them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, just a little bit more. Look at these beautiful AB colors. So you have the pink. Am I doing it right, Marlon? He's trying to train me on how to hold these so people can see them. Here's a beautiful white AB. That is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful blue. Oh, I love it. You guys see that coating on there? Yes, yes, yes. And you have a beautiful green. He's got a green kind of bodysuit type thing on. I bet that goes in there. I'm just betting. I don't know. I haven't looked, but we will. All right, I'm gonna put my ABs over here. Don't let me forget where I put them because that's my famous trick. Oh, that's right, you can't remind me, but I'll try to remember. All right, I'm gonna scoochie this on over. So anyway, these are resin drills. Let me see what else I can tell you, Prika. You know what? I actually told you the top 10 things without even knowing it and just showing off this kit. So we've got a Bella tray with every kit. Legend is flipped on one side, pre-cut sticker sheet. I'll just let you take a gander at this gorgeous man while I tell you again. Hand-rendered artwork, size that renders the best, scalloped edges, high-quality glue, clear symbols and printing, resin drills, and artist and art name printed on the canvas. So those are the top 10 things and the improvements that Mary's Diamonds have made. Now you know the top 10 list. All right, so let's now look and see where these ABs go. At the bottom, the first one is going to be, you know what, I put them over here and then move them. Good grief, Kara. All right, the first AB is going to be your 702 AB, and that is this beautiful green AB, and that is an equal symbol. I'm looking in this bodysuit. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have forgotten my nerdy glasses. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, it's not in the bodysuit. It's in these gorgeous eyes. That's where your equal signs are gonna go and that's where these beautiful green ABs are gonna go for his beautiful green eyes. Okay, I should have known. I don't know why I didn't guess that. All right, the next one we've got is uh, 775 AB. That is an up arrow. I'm looking at his hair. Got that flowing hair, kind of like a romance novel guy. Okay, should I leave? leave <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I need your help, Marlon. I'm should trying not to ooh and ah too much. Should I dim the lights? <laughs> no dimming the lights. Oh my gosh. I'm trying, I'm trying here. Where's the up arrow? <laughs> okay, the up arrows are in his flowing hair. 
<laughs> Marlin is like, oh, please stop ooing and gooing. Uh, there are some up arrows right here. That's, I believe, some more of his hair that's come down. Are there any in the bubbles? I'm looking. I don't see any in the bubbles. Okay, that's where that one goes. The next one is the white. The white is kind of a, I call it a rooftop. You know, we all name our symbols. That's going to be in the bottom of his trident. It's kind of a star that it's kind of the light is glinting off of his trident. And there's some in here as well on this glint. And then it's glinting here. He's got uh, two horns, it looks like. Um, and there are some up symbols there. I don't see any in his hair. I think that is just about it. I'm looking in these bubbles just to make sure. Okay, so it's mainly going to be in these glints. Um, there's some right here in this strand of hair that's framing his face. You're going to get some in there. So he will have some sparkly hair. And last but not least is our up arrow, uh, which is this beautiful sea foam green. Can they see it? Am I doing okay? <laughs> and that is an up arrow. So let me check this out. Any in the bubbles? Yes, okay, there are some up arrows in the bubbles. There are up arrows in his hair. A little bit, highlighting. Um, any others? Uh, yes, a little bit right here in his hair, framing his face. His hair is going to have some sparkles in it, guys. All right, so that is where your ABs are going to go. All right, guys, I love this one. Like I said, I love Greek mythology, um, love hearing the stories. I loved learning about it in school. And who wouldn't like him? Poseidon. I mean, good grief, god of the seas. So um, thank you so much, Mary's Diamonds, for entrusting this to me to let me uh, spotlight for you. I love the image. I love the rendering. The symbols are as clear as day. Uh, love this canvas. I mean, there is, there's nothing I can say that I would say bothers me or any kind of quirk. Nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marlon's bothered by the fact that I'm ooing and gooing over the man. Okay, so that's that's our critique. Mary's diamonds. Marlon doesn't like that I'm ooing and gooing over the man. Okay. Yeah, yeah all over his chest the entire video. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bothers me about that. Okay. I had to say something. All right, Mary's Diamonds, that's a complaint. Marlon is complaining about the image mm. because I like it so much. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, that's what I've got for you tonight. I think I'm going to have Marlon dim the lights, and I'm going to sit in here and look at my painting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you once again, Mary's Diamonds. I present to you Poseidon, licensed from Effervescence. And uh, thank you once again for Mary's Diamonds for having the confidence in me, uh, knowing we get a little bit silly with it, but uh, having a great time. And um, this is a beautiful canvas in all seriousness, and I cannot wait to work this up. I will be working this up pretty pretty quick because I, I do want to um, try this, this company out and uh, let you guys see the post review. All right, guys, thanks for being with me. And I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is The Principal Painter, and I am signing off.